When I fought Mount Vale, my sword passed through him like air. He is in a state of death and life, impervious to physical harm. Your magic is not enough. To defeat him, you must channel the power of death, as he does. Hmm. The voices of the spirits below call to me. Could they be the key? The power of the dead. If you could become one with it, you would be as Malveil is, and you could face him. But you must find a way, quickly. Every moment, thousands die, and Malveil's power grows beyond anything I have ever seen. Spirits welcome you. Soon we will speak truly for the first time. Never before have I heard a voice from the unformed land so clearly. This time we both saw him. Ancestors, I call on you for aid. Malveil is beyond my powers, and I seek your guidance. Though Malveil consumes the spirits of Nguyen Ekura, he does not make him invincible. He has opened himself up to you. But how? Are you not master of the unformed land's power? Malveil has grasped something greater than I have. He is death itself. But the spirits will answer your call and aid you if they could be wrested from Malveil's grasp. Go deep within the fortress and set them free. You have given me your power? From beyond the veil of death. The power of the spirits now resides within you, as it never has. You now live in both worlds, the true one and its shadow. And it falls to you to save them both. Malthael consumed it and took Diablo's soul. Then Malthael's death will have released Diablo. He is free.
the Nephilim have done the impossible. By conquering death, he had redeemed the angels and saved all mankind. In that moment, with victory at hand, I saw the Nephilim in a new light. He is a hero who can defeat the champions of heaven and hell, and a witch doctor who protects the innocent. But within him beats a mortal heart that will one day be tempted to corruption. On that day, will he have the strength to resist or will he be 